Hey guys, my name is Scoby and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use your Android phone as a webcam in Windows. This is going to be a nice, quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing we're going to be doing is coming to our PC and we're going to be coming to this link. Links is always in the description down below. And this is going to be for the IV cam website. The first thing we're going to be doing is downloading this for Windows. Now it is important to note if you're running on Windows 7 64 bit, it is recommended to do this. However, I'm going to be downloading the normal version right here. If this doesn't work, you can feel free to use one of the mirror versions also. So once your download is done, we're simply going to be clicking on the exe file right here. We're going to be getting the pop up. We simply need to click yes on in Windows. And then we're going to be able to choose our installation language that you want to be using for this setup. In this case, I'm going to be choosing English. We can then choose the install location. And here I'm going to be doing my C drive. Here we're going to be setting up the folder again. Simply click next. And then from here, we're also going to get two options to create a desktop shortcut and run at startup. In this case, I'm going to be disabling both of these. In this case, I'd at least recommend to disable run at startup unless this is something you're going to be using all of the time. From this point, we can click next one more time and then finally click install. Now, once this is done, we can click run ivcam.exe, click finish, and then our app is going to be loaded up. Now, from this point, we're going to be installing the app on our phone and then we're going to be connecting them together. Now, for this, we're also going to be coming to our Android device and we're going to be opening up the Play Store. And once your Play Store is open, we're also going to be searching for and installing this ivcam app. So the first thing you're going to have to do is search for it and find it. And you can see I have it right here. We're simply going to be opening this up we're going to be clicking install and then we're going to be letting this app install on our Android device also. Now, once it's installed on your Android device, we're going to be clicking open and this is going to open up the app for the first time. Now you will get this pop up to ask if you allow it to record and take pictures. We are going to have to click allow in this place and the same thing for your audio recording. And here we're then going to be brought to this screen where we're going to be searching for an IV cam PC. Now, once you have your phone loaded up and it's on the same network as your computer and you have the app open on both your computer and your phone, you'll see on your phone, it'll say found IV cam desktop. From this point, once they're both connected and your phone has found your desktop, we can simply click the play button in the bottom middle right here and then your webcam will load up and you can see right now I'm taking a picture of my screen and you can see everything shows up on my OBS and is shared directly to my computer. Now we can flip your camera around by using the camera icon here in the bottom right and you can see just like that I'm using my front facing camera on my phone that's recording and sending directly to my actual computer and it seems to work pretty well. There is a small input lag and delay on this however it seems to work pretty well overall. Now connecting this up via cable will create a similar result and it works very similar to this although the latency will be a bit less and you'll have a few more stability options along with some less delay and latency. Now just like that you have your webcam installed and set up on your computer. Now from this point you can load up any webcam app you would like. In this case I'm just going to be loading up the camera app in my windows. You can see I'll just open it right now and you can see if I switch to my camera you can change your camera by pressing this icon. We'll be able to load up the camera that we just loaded here and you can see sadly we do have a watermark in the free version However, you can easily crop out of this in video and post, or even if you're using it in some sort of chat app like Skype or Discord or anything else, it's really not too instructive. It's in the top left corner, so it's okay overall. And I think overall, this is a really nice app and allows you to use your phone so you can really easily record. You can see my pops in the background and you can use your front or rear facing camera and you have a couple of other options in here. And here we can click the X on the top right to go back to our settings. We'll probably get an ad since you're on the free version. And here we can click the cogwheel on the top right. And here we have a couple more settings, including video size. So you can set this up to 1080p and even 4K. Although of course this will cause more delay and latency. So if you are having some issues, I'd recommend changing the video size. We can change the frame rate all the way up to 60. This of course will depend on what your phone supports as well. The video quality, the video encoder, the flicker reduction, and a bunch of other things. You can even purchase the full version here. And if this is something you're using regularly, I would recommend. Overall, it works really, really well. You can see that there's very little delay even over Wi-Fi as long as you have a good connection. Anyway, guys, it's as easy as that to use your Android phone as a camera in Windows. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out the other videos on the channel. I'm going to be leaving a link down below to my PayPal if you found these videos helpful and you want to support me. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.